Hi, I'm Hiroyuki Yamamoto from Chaist. I'd like to explain about our paper, Generalized Tonal Pitch Space with Empirical Training. A code can be interpreted as several key degree pairs, which we call code interpretations. For example, C major triad can be the first degree from the C major scale, or the third degree from the A minor scale, and so forth. These candidates are equally plausible for a code by itself. But when put in a sequence, not all the candidates are equally plausible. For instance, for the sequence CFGC, we believe the majority of us prefer the first example to the second one. To find out the most plausible interpretation pattern for a code sequence, Sakamoto et al. have proposed a graph whose edges reflect the cost or the distance of neighboring code interpretations. In that graph, we can find the most plausible interpretation path as the shortest path. And as the edges distance, they propose to utilize the tonal pitch space. The tonal pitch space, or TPS, is a music model which provides a foundation to the harmonic analysis. And with this, we can calculate the distance between two code interpretations. The distance between code interpretations X and Y is defined like this, as the sum of three elements. Although TPS is based on music theory and some observations, it is not based on data in a precise sense, resulting in a low precision accuracy. So in this study, we generalize TPS to a metric structure of arbitrary feature combinations and propose the framework to learn the parameters from data. TPS distance formula can be thought of as the sum of three elements. So first, we generalize this formula as the sum of arbitrary distance elements. And with the binary activation function B, we can freely use any combination of those distance elements. Then, for the additional distance elements, we introduce a new distance model that can distinguish arbitrary combinations of features we select. In our experiment, we define these five features. These are defined as functions, which map a code interpretation to the corresponding integer values. One can, of course, define other kinds of features, like code inversions, detailed qualities, or bit information, depending on the task. Then we can define an additional distance element as a combination of those features. Concretely, they are defined as the form of tables. For example, this one, DE41, only distinguishes whether the scales of code interpretations X and Y are the same or not. Likewise, the next one distinguishes all four that is 2 times 2 cases of scale changes. We call the distance elements which distinguish the direction asymmetric and the others symmetric. We can check it by flipping the arguments x and y. DE41 does not change, while DE42 changes. In our experiment, we define in total 12 distance elements in addition to the original 3 distance elements of TPS. Now I briefly introduce the remaining 10 distance elements. DE5x uses tonic information. In addition to symmetric asymmetric distinction, they are relative and parallel. As you can see, relative distances use major tonic feature, so they identify relative keys. For example, they don't distinguish C major key and A minor key. On the other hand, parallel distances use tonic features so they identify parallel keys, like C major key and C minor key. These are key distances. They can handle both scale transitions and tonic transitions at once. It is possible to consider these transitions by adding scale distances and tonic distances I just explained, but it assumes the independence of the distances of scales and that of tonics. By contrast, these key distances consider the interactions of scales and tonics, if any. Next, we define root degree distances. They are meant to consider degree information, but when use degree features alone, 
that distance element perform very poorly. So we combine with the root position relative to the tonic. And finally, we define key degree distances. They can describe the most granular metric structures and handle scale, tonic, and degree transitions and their mutual influences at once. Then we have to learn the values in those tables so that the shortest path in the interpretation graph indicates the most plausible interpretation path. So we propose this formula to calculate path probabilities. This probability is designed to give higher values to the interpretation paths with shortest total distances. So we want the ground truth interpretation path has a greater path probability than any other candidate path. Then we define the cross entropy loss function using the ground truth and the selected function. Now we can get the gradient by differentiating this loss function with respect to the parameters in the tables I explained above. Then update them by applying stochastic gradient descent to minimize the loss. For details, please refer to the source code here. For the experiment, we use the dataset annotated in RN text format and extracted the local key and degree information to train our models. We collected in total 360 pieces, then used 80% for training, 10% for validation, and 10% for test. Trained by mini batch SGD until no accuracy update and validation set for 10 epochs in a row. Then pick the parameter which gives the highest validation accuracy. And this is the result. The first row is the original TPS, and the rest are the results of proposed distance elements. DE82 achieved the highest accuracy, but DE81 got almost the same result with less than a third parameters. The difference is whether they distinguish the direction or not. Actually, we couldn't observe significant accuracy gain in several symmetric-asymmetric pairs. In fact, some pairs even lost a little. But we think it's because of the randomness in training process. Although asymmetric scale and key distances had better scores than symmetric counterparts. Considering that a symmetric model like DE81 could achieve almost the highest accuracy, distinguishing the direction does not seem to matter much. This fact is somewhat contradictory to our previous research, but we want to leave it for our future work. We also tested some combinations of the distance elements. We can check if it's meaningful to consider mutual interactions. As explained before, DE6X considers DE4X, DE5X, and their interactions. Similarly, DE8X considers DE4X, 5X, 7X, and their interactions. As we can see, considering the interactions resulted in a little gain in accuracy, but the number of parameters also increased. Also, it turned out that it's possible to achieve over 80% by only 58 parameters without considering interactions nor directions. In this study, we have extended TPS to take an empirical observation. We generalized the distance formula in TPS and proposed a way to define distance elements that distinguish arbitrary combination of given features and to train them with data. Our best model achieved 86.9% accuracy, which is significantly higher than that of the baseline model. We believe this result shows that our approach successfully learns an effective metric structure from data. And one of the combinations achieved 83% with only 85 parameters and with 132 parameters achieved 86%. We hope that these simple models will help us to understand better about the structures of tonal harmony. That's all. Thank you.